What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to KDJ TV for another How to Pitch with dot dot dot. Guys, if you're not aware, this series is just meant to teach you how I go about attacking hitters. You're not going to see any hitting gameplay from me. You are going to see pitch by pitch, sequence by sequence, tunnel by tunnel, how I attack hitters with certain pitchers. That's why it's very important to let me know in the comments down below who you want to see. Today, you guessed it probably by reading the title or looking at the thumbnail, you will learn how to pitch with Satchel Page, an incredible legend, so thrilled we got him in the the show 23. Let's go have some fun with it, I'm excited. As always, everybody, if you like this content, make sure you hit the like button, it helps more than you realize. Comment down below any other pitchers you'd like to learn how I pitch with. Also, most importantly, subscribe. I think that goes without saying, but please subscribe. All right, everybody, right here we have Leroy Satchel Page. Full disclaimer before this video begins. Actually, two disclaimers. Number one, I have not actually used this card online yet. However, using it in his moments, seeing his pitch mix, knowing his velocity, I have a good idea how to get outs with him. He's going to strike out more guys than who we used in our last video, Yoshi uh, Yamamoto, but... We're still pitching to contact. You guys are going to notice a theme through all these things. I enjoy pitching to contact. I think weak contact is an easy way to get outs. If you try for strikeouts, you're going to get burned by the home run. Second disclaimer. Just for the purposes of giving myself a better chance with Satchel Page, especially in early ranked difficulties. We are playing ranked seasons, by the way. Uh, I have assigned Buck O'Neill to a tier three boost. I have Satchel Page in the rotation. I have a handful of other NLB legends in the rotation. I have a handful of guys on my bench. So we are getting the tier three boost. It's going to be plus 15 to a few key stats and it's going to help us a lot, a lot, quite a bit. Excuse me. All right. So things to note when we look at Satchel Page, he throws very hard. <laughs> He's going to be reaching 102. His curveball is very slow. Curveballs do hang. We're going to see how it goes. His slider is a wipeout pitch. In my opinion, his two strikeout pitches are the fastball and the slider. My primary will be the slider. Most likely I enjoy using that pitch but it depends what handed batter is up. The screwball we're going to be able to use depending on our opponent. If our opponent's good, we can use it to change eye levels, maybe mix up some timing. If our opponent's bad, chasing it in the dirt, spotting it up in the zone, really just confusing our opponent. And then the sinker, such a valuable pitch, even to have as a fifth pitch. This is the one you're going to jam your opponent on. This is the one you're going to get your opponent to chase out of the zone for a ground ball. This is the one if your opponent is taking a lot of close pitches, maybe you can sneak it on the outside corner, at least to a right-handed batter, for a called strike three. The controls are not remarkable. Four-seamer, good enough control. Curveball, okay control. Sinker and slider, we're starting to get a little nervous, and the screwball is going to float wherever it wants. So we do just have to be careful. We have to make sure if we're going to try to hit spots, it's a spot we'd be comfortable missing in a little bit, especially with the pinpoint issues going on right now. And an important note on Pinpoint while we're on the subject. I am going to try to use Pinpoint. I like Pinpoint, just generally speaking. It's obviously bugged right now and it will be the show 23. It, I'm hoping it's patched. It better be patched. If halfway through this game or an inning through this game, it's starting to get really, really frustrating, I will switch to analog. That doesn't impact how we go about attacking hitters. I just want to make that abundantly clear. Lastly, the pitch breaks. Four seamer is just going to keep riding. That's a great pitch. The curveball's got phenomenal break. The slider, ironically, doesn't have a ton of break, but I like its differential from the fastball, so I am going to use it, as I said before. And the screwball and sinker, the sinker breaking a lot is very good. So I I'm excited to use Satchel Page. If you guys have used it before, let me know what you think. All right, I think you guys got the skinny on Satchel Page. Let's go hop into a ranked game. Pray it doesn't go poorly, okay? Pray with me. Pray to Ramon. An important thing to note, guys, about Satchel Page that we didn't talk about before, his delivery is really, really slow. It's going to be very frustrating even to use, let alone face. So we're kind of also hoping that our opponent gets impatient and maybe swings at pitches that he or she normally might not. So that's just keep that in mind as well. All right, we got a righty hitter up at the plate first. We're starting him off with a slider. Let's see if we can plant this right on the outside corner. I like that. That's a great spot. Perfect. We're not friendly quitting. Okay. Let's see if we can hit that same spot, but now with a little bit of cheddar. The b-ball, as Satchel calls it. How fun was that storyline, by the way? Perfect spot. He's a little late. 
Now we're going to toy with them and go back to the slider again. Same location three times, which I don't normally advocate for, but we're switching up the type of pitch. Beautiful first at bat. You got to play mind games. Nice job. One out. All right, Murakami is dangerous if he can pull it. So I'm going to stay outside, at least for the first couple pitches. Start him up and away with a fastball. And we got pinpointed. I love it here. At the very least, we got his eyes thinking a little bit. It's a little upsetting. But don't worry, we'll figure this out. What's happening to my game? All right, YouTube, for some reason, I am having very significant ranked disconnect issues. I've thrown six pitches with Satchel Page and disconnected from two ranked games and gotten the loss in both of them, which is infuriating. I have reached out to people at SDS. So I don't normally want to do this, but we're going to do it. Just for the sake of putting the video out, and I don't miss a week, we're going to do this in many seasons, okay? I apologize already. I, too, hate this. But we're going to do a three-inning game in many seasons with Satchel Page. What you won't be able to tell from this is how to attack an online hitter based on your opponent's tendencies. But we're not worried about tendencies right now, okay? We're worried about how to attack hitters. That does not change whether it's computer, human being, etc., all right, to potentially make this even more challenging, I'm going to play it on Legend, okay? I might very well lose the game. I might not hit a lick, but we're going to do it on Legend just to just to make it harder because we are playing the CPU. But everything I've said so far still applies, okay? I want to make that abundantly clear. Satchel Page, here we go. I don't even know what team I'm using. Let's just play. We're away. We're going to hit first. I'll check back in with you guys after we swing it. All right, so funny enough, I was facing Satchel Page in this mini season, and let me tell you, it's not fun. He throws 103, actually. Forget 102. Uh, his delivery is very long, and Legend is very fast. So let's let's use him here. Let's let's attempt to attack hitters thinking as if they're online, okay? I don't always want this series to be offline. I honestly hope it never is, but let's just do our best. Robbie Cano. We're going to do the same thing we always do. We're going to start with a sinker a little bit below the zone and test if the hitter chases. Maybe we get a cheap ground ball, anything like that. All right, too low, but actually was very nice within the par. Uh, we're going to stay low, but now we're just going to go with the heater. Heater low and away inside the zone as long as the pinpoint isn't stupid. Okay. We're 2-0. and It's unfortunate. Now, 2-0 and is kind of a crapshoot. I don't like throwing 2-0 and fastballs. I think people sit on it. So I'm going to go slider in. This is preference. Some people will pump 2-0 and fastballs. We completely missed, but we got a nice pitch. What the heck was that? Um, let's go sinker in here. I want to try to establish inside. I can't pitch. So we're doing great. 3-0, and oh, uh, 3-1, and one, same as 2-0. and oh. I'm not really throwing a fastball unless my opponent has proven he or she cannot hit it. Okay, we got... Don't know why that was swung at. 3-2, and two, I'm going to go fastball up and away. I'm trusting the velocity here. Okay, he's fighting. Three and two is not the time to get tricky. So I'm going to repeat the same pitch and spot. This is normally a giant no-no for me. But three and two is not the time to play around. Perfect pitch. It worked out. We got lucky. It was a called strike three. When we're throwing junk pitches, screwball, curveball, I kind of like starting at bats with them. That's not what your opponent's expecting. So I'm going to start with a screwball. It missed the spot entirely, but because it's a weird pitch, we got a grounder. That's going to happen with pitches like that. Your opponent's eyes are going to light up when they see a screwball floating through the air. Or when they see a curveball slowly breaking. You're going to get early swings. You're going to get PCIs that go all over the place. Those pitches are meant to induce weak contact. Maybe you steal a strike here or there. Uh, but that's the goal, and we got it. So to Miggy, he's a pull hitter, so we're going to go soft outside. Slider away. It's going right. What is wrong? I mean, that was not a perfect pinpoint input, but it's not going where I want. Fastball low and away. Let's actually hit the low and away spot this time. Perfect. And yeah, I mean, pull hitter. Got onto it. It's the computer too, so it's going to be a little weird. But hey, nothing we can do about that. At least it was a ground ball. By keeping it low with that velocity, you're going to get a lot of grounders. I want to go sinker away to Kyle Tucker. And it was low instead because the game's stupid. Uh, I'm going to try it again because I want to prove a point. All right, we got a strike. The hope there is because it's so much slower than the fastball, the four-seamer, you're going to get a lot of rollover double plays. We don't need a double play here. 
but it would have been nice to get a grounder. Two balls, one strike. Dude, pit point is a disaster right now. Fastball up and in. Nope, that's inside. What's, it's really bad. Screwball, let's just play around. Okay, look, another weird-ish swing. Now, see where that landed? We're going to go same spot, four-seamer. He was early on it, which is not going to happen in, against an opponent. But your opponent saw a screwball land there, and now you're just pumping heat past him. Tunnel, whenever you can. I'm going to go hit. I'll be back in a sec. You guys would be stunned to hear that I scored a run on Legend off of Satchel Page, actually. Thank you very much. Uh, even though our energy is going to start to drain pretty precipitously, SAT word, because it's an offline game, we're going to try our best to trudge through definitely the second inning, maybe the third. We'll see how it goes. What I want to focus on this inning is setting up batters for a strikeout with a certain pitch. Against a lefty, that's harder to do with Satchel Page. He's going to get a lot of soft contact against lefties, hopefully. Against righties, we might be able to work on it. Coming up this inning, we have lefty switch switch. So it's going to be tough. But hear me out. We're going to figure it out together. All right. We start with sinkers away. Until your opponent picks up on what you're doing, I like the sinker away to left-handed batters. We got a strike out of it. I like to stay away. Soft contact is king. So we're going to try to backdoor a little slider. Hopefully it doesn't hover towards the middle. Nice pitch. That's a, that's a good miss. If we're going to miss, no damage done there. Screwy. Let's see if we put the screwball there. I was... It was too much over the middle of the plate, but that is still a sequence I like. Sinker, slider, screw. Now we're going to go fastball up and away. This is the danger zone against lefties as far as what they're... They're not going to be able to get their bat to it a lot. Fouled off there, but late, I believe. Yes, swing timing late. We love that. We're going to pump it there one more time a little bit higher. A little bit higher. We missed, but we got the strikeout. Changing eye level with Satchel Page is going to be key, especially when you play that screwball. That screwball starts high, comes low. If you then go back to the four-seamer that starts at that same height but stays there and is faster, you're getting punches, I promise. All right, Satchel Page has no energy left. He's red. We might have to finish it after this inning. Slider, boom, called strike. It didn't hit. He doesn't hit his spots, in my, in my opinion. I don't know if I like using Satchel Page, but if you do, go right ahead. We're going to stay low and in. It, yeah, no, this is... This isn't good. He hits no spots. If, if you're looking for my recommendation, I don't recommend using this satchel page. Strikeout on the screwball. If we get a better one that comes out at some point with better control, yes. I do not recommend currently this satchel page. That's just me. We're going to try to do that same sequence we just did against Cattell. We missed the first pitch. All right, so we'll go back to outside again. Satchel page is super exciting. I hope we get a good card of his because I want to use it. But this card is not in my god squad. I haven't even considered it. We just went sinker. Now we'll gas him up a little bit with a four seam. I love it. He's late. If he's late, you don't want to speed his barrel up. So we are going to go back to the four seamer again, just a little bit higher. If your opponent's that late, don't throw something slower. Because it's going to be pulled very, very far. Okay, change the eye level. Now that we've mixed up pitches here. Let's see. Let's try this hammer curveball. Let's see if we can just put that right in the corner there. You got a lot of weak pop-ups on this pitch. And I am a future seer. I don't know. All right, everybody. Unfortunately, that is going to do it for this video. Satchel's out of energy. He's already missing spots. It's not worth it to continue showing him miss spots when it's not really reinforcing the points I'm trying to make. It is unfortunate we cannot play rank today. I don't know what the issue is with all these like random disconnects. I don't think everybody's even experiencing them. I clearly am. It's not my internet, because when I play BR events, it's fine. I don't disconnect. Uh, like I said, I have reached out to SDS about it, so we'll see what they say. Any hoozle, if you like this video, please let me know. I'm sorry it's different than I intended. It will hopefully be better moving forward. Let me know which pitchers you want to learn how to use. I will do my best to give you recommendations. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. I'll see you next time.